Bonjour guys, so today I'll be doing another GIMP tutorial and for today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to um, colorize stuff. So let's get started. You want to open up GIMP and you want to find the image that you would like to use. I suggest a PNG image. You can use any image and change the background. Um, but uh, I already have a previous PNG image, so I'm going to be using that. Uh, we'll use good old Bruce for now. You guys might know him from Nemo. So when you open up your image, there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can do it by color balance. You can see it changes his face. And now he's back to blue. He's green. Now he's red and blue. Now he's back to normal. So you can do it that way, or you could also do it colorize. And you could do it this way. That's blue, purple, pinkish, red. Then you go this way, it's yellow, orange, red. Um, so you could also do it this way. You do it darker, really bright. Or you could do it darker, saturation is gray, how light or dark you want the color. Um, so, I mean, if you want something gray, you can just do that. Uh, so... That's how you can change it, you press OK, and um, you got uh, your red shark. Um, there's another thing you can do, you can go to your, I'm going to be setting the link in this, there is a script foo that Mr. Monsumi, or Moonsumi, again I cannot say his name, uh, he made a script foo. Um, and I'll put the link in the description for a script foo and you can go to your animation color cycle and the obviously the frames must be even he made that very clear must be even you cannot do an odd number or it will not work and you can do you can just kind of play around with this he has the default as 8 so we'll go ahead and do 8 and you can see right here now on your new one that there are different colors um, right there and go to if you go to your filters animation playback make this a little bigger you can see now your shark is a rainbow um, so yeah now you got a rainbow shark um, so that's just kind of how you change the colors and everything. Again, I'll put the link in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.